everybody, it's Heather here from Hojo's Teaching Adventures and the Academic VA. Today I just want to do a quick video tutorial on how you can edit and manage your loops. Um, you can look at your analytics to see how they're doing. So we are going to dive into that. I just logged into my personal Tailwind account. I'm going to come over here to Publisher and then to Smart Loop. Um, and I apologize if I sound a little funky. My family and I have um, all been told we have like a respiratory viral infection. So if I sound a bit nasally today, that is the reason. But I wanted to get this video done because I've been putting it off for almost a month now. So um, thank you for your patience with me and understanding that I'm fighting through a little bit of a cold here. So I do appreciate that. All right, so when your smart loop first comes in here and loads, um, it's going to show some stats up here. And these are the general stats. You'll see all smart loop posts are um, highlighted here. And yes, I do have over 4,500. Um, loops in. Now remember, if I send one pin to five different boards, that counts as five loops. So you'll see here that I've had over 11,000 pins published. I've only gotten 4,000 repins out of those. And I'm averaging, um, you know, 0.4 uh, repins per pin. So not, you know, the greatest thing ever. But so right here is how we can sort. So I can sort by my highest repins first, my lowest. I can go by when I added them. I can go by the ones that have gotten the most repins when they were published. So there's a lot of ways to sort these. Um, I do kind of like to look at what was published highest first. Um, I do like to look at what was published highest first because maybe there's something I can replicate. You know, my average is only 0.4, yet this one is 8.4. And it is seasonal, um, so sometimes seasonal things do a bit better. But I know this is an evergreen um, content for me. But look at that. We go from 8.7 down to 2.7. So that's quite a significant drop. Um, yeah, and then we drop down to 1.9. So, um, yeah, I guess that's, that's interesting to me. Oh, but then we have a 3.4. So maybe it doesn't go exactly in the order that I would have thought. Interesting. Okay. Um, and I have looked at this a little bit, but I'll be honest, guys, I've been just so busy with mama life and TPT life and VA life that I, I really haven't spent as much time revising these as I really should have. Um, but so I'm going to come over here. I want to look at just my evergreen, my evergreen content. So this is, you'll see the title right up here. This is my evergreen blog post for second through sixth grade. And I know my, my ones with high repins are doing just fine. So I'm actually going to sort this and look at my lowest repins. Um, and I hate this image. <laughs> so the fact that it's lowest, yeah, I've never gotten a single repin on that. Like that frustrates me to no end. So I'm actually going to click through here. And uh, sorry about that. I'm going to click through here and make a little note to myself that I'm going to update that image because this is a free download. Like, this should be rocketed for me. Um, these rounding activities, I'm going to just chalk that up to um, roundings taught more in the fall. I didn't start this loop until like November, but I'm also going to change it to hashtag rounding. And you have to click the Save Changes button, otherwise it doesn't go into effect. I want to see if that makes a difference. And I'm going to throw, I normally try to keep it to just um, two hashtags. But I'm going to try a third one just to see what happens. And it did tell me up there your smart loop posts have been updated. Um, so let's see. Um, I'm gonna just try hashtag elementary on this one. I could rewrite this one because it's pretty short, but um, I'll be honest, like I said, I'm not feeling the best. So I'm just gonna do easy, quick little tweaks that I hope will make a difference. And in a perfect world, I would come in and update these every single month. Um, in a realistic world, I'm gonna try and come in and update these um, once a quarter. But in the real, real, real life world, I am probably going to only do this or, you know, I understand if people would only do it like once a year. So, you know, at a minimum, I would recommend doing it once a year. Um, 
don't know. I didn't hear that from an expert or anything, but uh, that's just my personal opinion. So take that for whatever it's worth to you. Okay. It does not like me um, having too many characters, but I don't want to lose too many keywords. Come on, work with me. All right. So I'm going to just copy this because otherwise I'm going to be fighting it. So I always use word count tools. Um, so I just want to get it down to 500 characters. Um, almost. All right. There we go. $4.99. I'll take it. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and then I got to save it, otherwise I'm going to lose it. So I, that, that's literally, um, oh, come on. See, sometimes I tell you, there we go, we'll get rid of that and too, and just go with that little sign. All right, so there's, there's basically, all right, now it's just not liking me, it's messing with me. <laughs> I don't appreciate it. <laughs> all right, um. I don't know what's going on here, guys, so I'm not going to stress it too much. I can come back in here later. So, all right, but basically what I can do is um, I can update the entire pin description, which is, is probably the best thing to do, but I'm, I'm just short on time right now. I can update the hashtags, which um, may or may not help. I, I did not personally believe in hashtags very much when they first came out, but now I'm finding that my pins do get a better, stronger start with hashtags, so I am a proponent of using them. I typically stick to two. Um, or the other thing I can do is just completely, like I could just come in here and delete a pin, which is, is what I will do with that, um, that math fact one. Cause this, I, I never liked this image. I threw it on my blog at just start with, and I never liked it, which is my own fault. Um, but so I would just completely delete it and start over. Um, so those are kind of your three things edit the description, edit the hashtags, or just start over because ultimately you want these to be getting repins because if you're not getting repins on things, Pinterest might view your account as not being a quality account. So um, you could literally come in here every single day and play with things. Please do not stress that much. I mean, I, I'm still doing well by, by my Pinterest standards. I'm happy with where things are, but that's just kind of a a brief overview of what you can do to, um, you know, improve your loops and edit them and tweak them and make them a little bit stronger. And again, just, just to reiterate, in a perfect world, you would do this once a month. Um, in a realistic world, you'll do this once a quarter and, and literally you'll do this for every single loop that you have. But in, you know, the real life, busy mama, busy teacher, busy every hat you wear, minimum once a year. Like, I'm not going to go in and touch Christmas probably until, like, next September just because I want to be out there two months ahead of the game. Um, but I should be doing these evergreen ones at least quarterly. So if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them here in the comments. Or I'm always happy to answer the questions the best that I can. Um, the best way to get a hold of me is through my VA blog because I tend to lose Facebook messages and emails that come in other ways. So feel free to reach out via the contact tab and the information located at www.theacademicva.com. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day.